can't believe this is our life now. You best believe it, my love. And it's going to remain like this forever. What did I tell you all those years ago when we were having our traditional marriage? You told me you were going to take good care of me and you were going to give me the life that I deserve. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing. You believed in me when I had absolutely nothing. You helped me feed even when it meant you starving. So now that I have everything I need, I'm going to take care of you. <laughs> I love you. I love you, Amo Biona. I love you more, Magdalene Ona. Who's that? My wife. Your what? Oh my goodness. Your what? What are you talking about? Hey! You need to come with me, please, please. Come no, I am not. She can't find you here. What are you talking about? My wife. Your wife? She can't find you here. Please, please, just come what? with me. No, what, what exactly are you telling me? Amubi, how can you be married to me and be married to someone else? Babe, there's no time to explain right now. Trust me, I'll explain everything to you later. But please, just come with me. I'm not going anywhere. I am not leaving. Baby, please. I am your wife. Please, I beg you. I beg you. If Vero finds you here, it will spoil a lot of things. I'll explain everything to you, please. My love, please. Fine! Thank you. So where do you want me to go to? Uh, the bathroom. Oh, baby, come. Yes, come now, this. come, come, come. She's going to be here soon. Just come and... Restroom. You can't hide here. So, so, so where do you want me to go? Um. Oh my goodness. Why are you acting confused? Oh my goodness. Um. Hey. Oh my goodness. Mm. Honey, what's yeah. up? Mommy, we haven't been waiting for ages. Dad. Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> I can't believe, I can't believe this. You guys are here. Yes, we're here. We spoke yesterday and you didn't even mention you're coming back today. Well, mom wanted to make it a surprise. <laughs> well, I am pleasantly surprised. <laughs> wow, yeah. where are your things? Uh, the cab. The That's why I'm saying that he's been waiting. Oh, the cab is outside. Yes. yes. Okay, well, just go in and wait for me. I'll take care of the cab. Okay. I'll bring everything in. Don't worry, just go and relax. Thank you. I believe you guys are back. Hey, sweetie. Yes. That's so good to see you. Good to see you Welcome too. back. I missed you so much, Daddy. I miss you too, darling. <laughs> me too. Wait, let me pull my shirt. <sighs> Honey, you did a great job. Like, everywhere is just still the same. You took care of everything. Thank of you. course. I did what I had to do. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <clears throat> uh, okay. So, uh, that's my cue and I'll be out now. So, Daddy, don't worry, okay? Later this evening, we'll catch up on what's happening. I'll tell you and you tell me what's happening. Of course. Bye. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> I missed you so much. I missed you too. Mm -hmm. Um, babe. What? 
I think you should take a shower first. Oh yeah, you're right. But I missed you so, so much. That's why I want this now. Okay. Yeah, mm. I want it too. I've missed you too, but just take a bath first and then we can have ourselves as much as we want all day. Okay. You know what I mean, right? I do, but I have an idea. Mm. Why don't you join me in the bathroom? I already baited. Yeah, well, but baiting is never too much. <laughs> Come on, babe. There's really no point. No, there's a point. You'll help me sponge my back, baby. You think? Okay. I think I have a better idea. Why don't I go to the kitchen and make something for you and then get to eat? Or we order. No, I insist. It's been a while you ate my food. I want to cook something special for you. After that, we can have fun. Okay, you win. I'll go take a bath and I'll meet you shortly. Okay. Mm. I'll be back, okay? you'd be in your room showering or something. Nope. I'm just here watching some TV. But... Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. mm. Quite interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, Dad. Look, apart from the TV, we have a lot to catch up on. I mean, it's been three years. Three years I've not seen you. We need to talk about what's been happening. You've been bored, right? Oh, yes, extremely bored. Yeah, so let's talk. What's been happening? Sweetheart, uh, now is not a good time to talk. Hmm? You're still in the clothes you came back with and you haven't even taken a bath. I think you should go shower and change into something more comfortable. All right? And... Um. I also want to go make something for you and mom to eat. Are you serious? So we will do all the catching up we need to do while we're eating. Wait, I have an idea. How about I join you? It becomes a family cooking. <sighs> mm? Don't worry, I, I can handle it myself. Mm, are you sure? Yeah, sure. You don't want me to help you? It's okay, I can take care of it. Sweetheart, I want you to go to the room take a bath and change into something more comfortable, okay? Okay. Good. Uh, okay. Mm. Mm. Mm, Daddy. Uh, Nangi, yes? this is not how to get to your room. Well, I don't want to get to my room. I want to just relax. You said you don't want to talk to me. I Nangi. I want you to go to your room and change into something more comfortable. Take a bath and change into something more comfortable, okay? I'm comfortable. Like right now. Okay, yes, Dad. I'll go now. Baby, don't. You have a wife and a daughter. When were you ever going to tell me? Babe. You weren't going to tell me. I, I, I was. I, I was just waiting for, for the perfect time. I can't believe this. I can't. Baby. Don't. Don't. Don't baby me. Don't, Amobi. Look, I had no idea they were going to come back anytime soon. Who owns this house? The thing is... Amobi, who owns this house? Vero. Your wife? The money you claimed you made is hers? Hey, 
the clothes and the wardrobe that you claimed you got for me. I have to. Oh my God. Oh my God. My God. How could you do this to me? I, 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 I did it for us. For us? By getting married to another woman, you did this for us. How? Listen, eight years ago, when I came to the city to look for a better life for us, I started working in her company. Shortly after, she fell for me. We started dating and we got married. A few years later, she traveled abroad to go get a degree. And I decided to stay back and run the company. But I had no idea she was going to come back anytime soon. I swear. That's why I didn't tell you about her. I I'm sorry. You're sorry? Well, that is not an excuse. You should have told me the truth regardless. Baby, I'm not trying to make excuses. I really am sorry. Maggie. So, so what's the plan now? I don't know. But you have to go back to the village. I'll figure something out and I'll call you. Wow. Wow. Maggie, please. Don't. Don't Maggie me. Don't. It took you three good years after you left for the city to contact me. And I was wondering why. Now I understand that you were busy making your family while I was there waiting for you. That's not what happened. And now you want me to return to the village. Only God knows how long it would take you to call me. It won't take too long, I promise. I don't believe you. Not anymore. Babe? Your wife, she's calling you. Baby, please. Go, go, go meet her. Please, I, I need you to stay here, okay? Just stay in this room, please. Why? You think that your real family will see me and you will end up losing them? Look, we'll talk about this some more later, I promise. But for now, I need you to stay in this room, okay? Stay. <sighs> You know, I never believed you could do this to me. After everything I did for you. After everything. Baby, please. We'll talk about this, please. Please, just, just, just wait here. I beg you. Okay, I have to go now. Please, just stay here, please. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought I, it's okay. Um, Dad, mom, did you guys hear anything right now? What sound? What? Like a door shutting. Uh, I even thought maybe you were over there. No, I didn't hear anything. Did you hear anything? No, I did not. But I heard it clearly. Well, even if you heard a door shutting, it's hammer time season. The wind is blowing and the doors are flying all over the place. Yeah. So. Maybe your dad is right. Okay. Okay, so I'll just go back to what I was doing, but I'll come for this gist. Yeah, what were you doing? What? You're supposed to be washing the dishes. Hmm. Um, I am. Your hands are dry. <laughs> well. Doesn't matter. Okay, you got me. I'll start. I'll wash the dishes. All right. Go to the dishes. Don't affect me, okay? <laughs> Just go to the dishes. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Yeah, so, um...
baby. Hey. Were you going somewhere? No, no, I was just um, making sure the door was locked. You just wanted to make sure that the door was locked. Mm. Okay. So, everything that we've not done in the past three years, we should do them now. Tonight, here. Of course. You know, you weren't supposed to come back for another two years, babe. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's not like I'm not happy to see you. Okay. I'm just surprised. What happened? Well, nothing happened. They said we can now run online classes. So, since you said you don't want to come over there, I decided to come here. Be with you. Hmm. So, we can do everything that we're supposed to do. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're back. Hmm. Me too. I'm really happy. I've missed you. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, babe, uh -huh. your phone. It's ringing. It's been ringing. Ignore it. Okay, hold on. What if it's an important call? Babe, mm -hmm. nothing is more important than you right now. Sweetheart. Um, why are you going into the visitor's room by this time of the night? A visitor's room? Yeah. No, I was... I was heading to the living room. Oh. What's that? 
Why are you? Oh, this, this is it's just trash from the end of the day. What are you doing awake by this time of the night? I, I was thirsty, so I said let's move to the kitchen, get some water, and go back. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, um, all right. Let's let's just let's just go together. I'm going to the living room. You're going to the kitchen. So oh. let's just let's just go. afraid you might have slept. Everyone has gone to bed. I brought you something to eat. Please, I need you to eat so that we can leave. I'll lodge you in a nearby hotel tonight. Tomorrow morning, you'll go back to the village. I'll call you when I have a plan. You really think I will let you get rid of me like that? No, baby, it's not like that. I am I not going anywhere. I can't stay here. Why not? Tell me, why not? Oh, so that the love of your life will not find out about me? <sighs> Don't say that. Baby, you're the love of my life. <laughs> Enough with your sugar-coated words. No, it's the truth. Listen. I'm just with Vera because of the money. Okay? Well, it didn't look like that earlier. When you were lovey-dovey with your wife in the city room. Come on, babe, that was all for show. You're the one I choose. You're the one who owns my heart. Then why did you lie to me? Why didn't you tell me that you were married with a child? Why? You lied to me about everything. You don't lie to the person that you love. Babe, I was just trying to protect you. Protect me? Yes, that's why I didn't tell you about Vero. Okay? Look, baby, I promised I would never choose another woman over you. And that hasn't changed. How can you claim to choose me over a woman who has a child for you? Nengi is not my child. She's Vera's child from her late husband. And even if you were my child, it still doesn't change anything. You're the one who owns my heart. You have to believe me. If it's me, then let's leave. Yes, let's go. I'm sure you must have saved enough money. We can go somewhere else and start afresh. Come on, babe. Look around you. You've been here. You've seen it all. Are you really going to leave all of this behind? Yes. Yes, we can. Together we can achieve something greater than this. My love, the kind of money I make in just a few months of being Vera's husband, even if I were to work for the rest of my life, I still wouldn't make half of it. If I am really the one you choose, you wouldn't mind coming with me. A year. Give me a year to save up as much as I can. And then I'll go with you to anywhere in the world. Anywhere you choose. A year? A year and nothing more. I promise. Just eat and we will leave.
Babe. Babe. Lady. Uh. <laughs> who are you? Talk, who are you? I am. <clears throat> um, I, 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 I'm always. Cousin. Sweetheart, this is Magdalene, my cousin. Can I see you in the living room for a minute? You told me you were an orphan. Yes. And you didn't have any close relative. Yes, I did. Mm. And I thought that was the case. Mm -hmm. Look, baby, a few months ago, Maggie showed up at our door. She claimed we were cousins. I didn't believe her at first, but I made inquiries based on the things she told me and discovered it was true. See, we spoke every day over the phone and there was never a day you mentioned this to me, so why? Look, I felt like this was something I was going to tell you in person. I didn't feel like telling you over the phone. I was just waiting for you to come back. But I came back today. You never said anything until, you know, I saw what I saw. So, how does that add up? Like, why? And it was as if you were hiding her. That's because I was. Hmm? Yes. Look, babe, I wasn't expecting you back today. So it felt weird to me that you would come home and meet me in the house with a stranger. A woman that you didn't know. I really just wanted to tell you about her first before introducing you to her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you about her all this time. I really am sorry. Please. It's fine, all right? I trust you and I believe you. I just want you to know that whatever it is, you can always come to me. Tell me, no matter how weird the story is, I believe you. Okay, thank you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go in and say hi to her properly. Okay, after you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. How are you related to my dad? We're cousins. Yeah, I know you're cousins. How are you cousins? Um, his mother and and 
my mother and his father are siblings. Your mother and his father are siblings? Yes. Oh. Um. I'm sorry about the way we left earlier. <laughs> it's, it's fine, Ma. No, it, it's, it's not fine. I owe you a little explanation. My husband is an orphan, and we've not seen any close relative of his. Seeing you, meeting you here. You see how awkward it was. But I'm sorry about that. No, no, Ma. It's, I totally understand that. Magdalene, right? Yes, ma. Come on, just stop with the ma. My name is Vero. I'll call you Auntie Vero, if that's okay by you. Of course it is. Magdalene, you're welcome to stay in this house. Feel free, okay? Just be relaxed. Okay, Auntie Vero. Thank you. It's okay. It's already late. We'll call it a night now. We'll catch up tomorrow properly. Okay, thank right. you. Good night. Good night, darling. Thank Thanks. you. Good night, cuz. Good night, cuz. How cute. You fine? Yeah. Um, Mom? Please, can I just have a word with that? He'll be back. Please. Okay? Thank you. Hmm. Honey, I'll see you inside, okay? Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh. Oh. That went well. Oh. What's up? Oh, yes. I was just curious. I just wanted to know. How are you and, um... Sorry, what's her name? Auntie Maggie? Yeah, Auntie Maggie. How are both of you related? I already said it. We're cousins. Yes, yes. I know you're cousins. But how are you cousins? How are we cousins? Yes. Her mother and my mother are sisters. Her yeah. mother and your mother are sisters? That's what I said. Well, that's not what she said. She said your father and her mother are siblings, so... I... Really? Yes. She said that? Yeah, she said that. Well, she must be mistaken. Besides, if she already told you how we're related, why are you asking me again now? Come on, she's a stranger and you're my dad, so I'm supposed to ask you to be sure. She's not a stranger. She's my cousin, which means she's your aunt. She's family. Mm, yeah. Okay. But why haven't you told us about her? Like, why? It's complicated. I'm not too much of a child. I can do complicated. It's late, Nengi. You should go to bed. But I'm not tired. I'm not... Well, I am. We'll talk about this tomorrow, okay? Good night. Good night. to baby. Babe? More like cause. <laughs> You're such a good actor. You too. You totally believed us. Of course. Very is quite gullible. But that her daughter. I'm not, I'm not I'm not really comfortable around her. She uh, kept asking me lots of questions. She did the same to me. So we need to get our stories straight, okay? Look. Your mother and my mother are siblings. But I told Nengi that... I know what you told Nengi. Don't worry about her. I'll handle Nengi. Just make sure from now you don't answer her questions directly. Okay. But babe, does it mean I'm no longer going to the village? Yes. I mean, 
they believed we were cousins, right? So there's no need for you to go. You, can, you stay here. You just need to make sure we're careful not to get caught. Okay. So we'll stay for like a year, make all the money we can, and we'll leave and go be together forever. I love the sound of that. And I love you. <laughs> mm. Good morning, Ma. Good morning. Maggie, huh? what are you doing? I'm cleaning, Ma. Baby, huh? what happens to the woman that comes here to clean? Uh, well, um, Maggie offered to do the cleaning, so I told the woman not to come anymore. Maggie, there are so much to do in this house. Are you sure you can cope? Ma, I can cope. I mean, this is small compared to what I do in the village. And it's also my little way of saying thank you for what you and Brother Amobi did for me. Okay. If you say so. Meanwhile, how was your night? Ah, it was fine, ma. And yours? Perfect. It was good. I'll leave you to it. Okay, ma. Thank you, ma. Baby? Hey. Mm-mm. -mm. Come, let me show you something. You want to show me something? sent for me oh yes i did um in this bag you find my used hair and some clothes they are all in perfect shape i just want you to have them uh, auntie vera you mean i should take them mm -hmm. auntie vera you don't have to no come on just have them okay thank you thank you so much god bless you bless you too so I should take the bag? Yes, you can. Thank you. Thank mm. you, Adver. It's okay. talk to you. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm totally fine. It's just that I have this feeling about that lady. I feel like dad is lying to us about her. About who? You mean Auntie Maggie? Your father's cousin? You really think that's his cousin? Yes. Your father said so. What? Okay, so why didn't he ever tell us about her if she is his cousin? I guess he was waiting to discuss that with me one on one. One on one? Uh huh. Okay, just imagine we didn't come back yesterday. Just imagine we stayed like five years longer. He wouldn't have told you about her because he was waiting for when he would see you face to face. Nangi. Mom! Come to think of it. You remember when we came back? He took a little time before he opened the door. Just maybe, what if he had company? And that was why he was, he, he was, he was too slow about opening the door. Didn't you think about that? I don't understand you. Where are you going with all of this? I am going to the fact that you need to verify if that auntie is truly his cousin before you can accept her into this house. Are you being serious right now? Yes! Mom! Your father said that she is his cousin and that's it. Just what if she's not his cousin? I don't understand. Then who is she? I don't know. That's what we need to... We need to find out who she is. Nengi. Mom. Your father is not a liar. We've known him for good eight years. 
to explain why he sacked all our domestic staffs. For no reason, like, he just woke up, he sacked the cleaners, the gate man, the driver, the chef, every single person in this house. Listen to me, see, listen, listen, listen. This man is the head of this house. And if he does anything, he has a reason. And I can't possibly question his decisions. What's wrong with you? Okay, so I get that. How about this? I asked them how they were related. And guess what? They said two different things, like totally different things. Uh -huh. And so? It's an honest mistake. Honest mistake, Mom. Yes. Mom, I'm telling you that one of those two people are wrong. Or even the both of them are wrong. They're lying. They're lying to you. They're tricking you. Nangi. Mom. Do you actually know what I'm doing with this phone? What? I was actually going through the company's account. And for God's sakes, everything is perfect. Listen to me. This company was passed down to me by my father. I didn't want it. I never wanted it. But he convinced me. And for three good years, I've not been doing anything. He has been the one in charge. Now I'm looking at it, everything is good. The money in here, every penny was accounted for. So why would he now lie about a girl? I am not denying the fact that he has done a great job. I am just saying, what if he's lying to you? What if he's lying to you about something? What if he's lying to me about something? Yes. Are you dumb or something? Did you not hear what I just told you? I heard everything you said, but I think you just trust him too much. Remember what Uncle Melvin said about you? He said, you trust people too much. Oh, I see. This is about Melvin. Hmm. No, it's not about Melvin. It's not about Uncle Melvin. It's not about him. Nengi, did you remember what you told me like last week? You said you wished I had married Melvin and not Amobi. Mom, I explained that. That was just... When I was sleep talking, I didn't really mean it. I, I was unconscious when I was saying that. So forget about it. Oh, yeah. It didn't mean anything. Oh, it didn't mean anything. <sighs> Listen, before we traveled, we were good. Everything was perfect. And now we're back here. I want everything to remain the same. Please, love this man. He is my husband and he's your father. No, he's not my father. Thank you. My father is dead and he's not going to take his place. You are his wife. He's your husband. I am not related to him in any way. Thank you. Please. I know that you, you won't believe me because you trust him. You think he's a good man. He has done this. He has done that. But it's only a matter of time. I will prove to you that he's nothing but a liar. What happened? Why did she call you? <laughs> she called me to give me her used clothes and shoes. Oh. <laughs> and that's not all. Nengi, I think she's suspicious of us. I overheard her telling her mother that you lied to her about me. Pharaoh can't possibly believe her. No, she doesn't. At least not yet. But we need to be more careful. You're right. We should be more careful. Yeah. Uh, I'll see you later. What's going on? I'm fine. I'm all right. Oh, come on. You don't look fine. What's happening? I had a dream. I had a dream last night. I lost everything. Everything that I've ever walked through. I don't understand. How? In that dream, I was struggling with someone. I kept on struggling 
I tried seeing his face, but I couldn't. And while at it, <laughs> the next thing, everything I've ever worked for went away, like I lost it all. God forbid. That's never going to happen. Nengi, she's actually seen some kind of things I don't understand. What's she saying? She's saying this, she's saying that, like a whole lot I don't understand. Hmm. Well, babe, Believe what your heart tells you to believe. But I can tell you this for free. I'm never going to let you lose everything you've worked so hard for. And you can trust me. You know that, right? Yes. Come here. You're awake now. I'm awake. You're supposed to be sleeping. What are you doing? I here? saw them together. I saw them together. They're together now, like right now. Oh. Hey, babe, what are you doing here? I thought we said we we're going to lay low for now. I'm setting a trap. A trap? Yes, listen. I was thirsty. I wanted to go get water to drink from the kitchen. I saw Lengi in the hallway. It looked like she was watching me. She thinks I'm coming here, all right? So I decided to play into her plan. Dad and that lady, of course. Mom, you have to believe me. They're together. Please, they could be talking. Remember, they're cousins. <laughs> talking. By this time of the night, Mom, this is midnight. Mom, what could they be talking about by this time of the night? Look, Mom, we're going to do it this way. If you go there, sneak in, if they're not doing anything, then I'll never raise this issue again, I promise. Just go, just go. Fine, it's okay. Stop. Thank you. She's going to go tell her mother that I'm here. When Vero comes here and doesn't see me here, whatever she tells Vero after that is not going to be believed, okay? So just pretend like you're sleeping, mm -hmm. all right? Okay. Pretend, all right? Okay. What you're going to do is sneak in so that they won't know, so that they won't start acting like cousins after. Cousins. Which cousins? I'm going to catch them today. See them acting like cousins. High cousins. Are you here? What do you mean, how am I here, baby girl? Don't baby me. I know, I, I know what you did. I saw you going into that room. I went to get water. That's a lie, that's a big fat lie. I saw you going into that auntie's room. That lady you call your cousin. Hey, honey. Hey. Uh, where went you, where were you? I was thirsty, I went to get water from the kitchen. No. Oh, I told you. Your daddy went to get water. That's a lie! Hey, shh! We had an agreement, not so. So kill it. Mom, I said. Nengi! I... 
I know what you did. We both do. <sighs> Babe. Yeah. What's going on with Nengi? Uh, nothing. Just ignore her, okay? What happened? Nothing. It's nothing. It's fine. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. You have the water? Yeah. I was really thirsty. Are you sure everything is okay? Everything is good, babe. Thank you, right? I know you're not related to my mom's husband. Sorry? I mean, what are you talking do about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. We both know you do. I don't. You don't. Well, I'm going to advise you. I'm warning you. You better leave this house or you will ever regret knowing me. You might have fooled my mom, yes. But you cannot fool me. And I promise you, I will do everything possible to expose both of you. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't worry. We'll see about that. Are you serious? Yes. With what happened last night, Nengi's credibility is shot. I mean, like, minus zero right now. Hmm. No wonder she came to my room last night, breathing fire and brimstone. She came to your room? Yes. Ugh. I wanted to slap her so bad. I just had to hold myself because of you. Thank you. Thank you for holding yourself. But seriously, that girl, she has no manners at all. What do you expect? Rich kids. That's how they are. Mm. Anyway, enough about her. Give me some sugar. Mm -mm. I've missed you so much. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what? Thank you. About that now. I saw them kissing in the living room. The both of them. You saw who? That that lady and your husband. I saw them. Hey, 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 hey. That lady is Auntie Maggie. Do you understand? And that man is your father. That man can never be my father. Nengi. Mom, you have to believe me. I know what I saw. No. The... Wow. You know what you saw? Yes. Just like you know what you saw last night. Not so. Listen, I understand what's happening here. You prefer Melvin to Amombi. Not so. Mom, this is not about me. This is about that lying husband of yours. Shut up! Shut up! Mom, I'm telling you Nengi, that that man is lying here. to you. Get out. I just get wish out. you see this. I just wish you just see this by yourself. Just come and see it for yourself. Why? Why did we ever meet Melvin? Why? Hey, baby. What's up? Are you just going to pretend like I didn't just see you kissing a lady? You called your cousin. What are you talking about? Oh. Like, if I wasn't sure of what I just saw now, I'd have started doubting myself. Hengi, I love your mother too much to do something like that. 
I can't hurt her that way. Now tell that lie to my mom that will always believe you no matter what. Well, I won't. You know, I used to... I used to love and respect you. I used to respect you as my father. But you see that respect and love? I have flushed it down the toilet. I have. And henceforth, I will do everything possible to expose you and your mistress. You might have won today, but you won't always win. My mom will see the truth, and I will not give up until she does. Baby? Baby? What is it? What are you thinking about? Nengi. What about her? Ever since you guys got back, she's been acting very strange towards me. It feels like she detests me. I've done everything possible to get through to her, but it's not working. Her. I owe you an apology. I'm sorry. You know, while we were in the States, I got very close to a guy. His name is Melvin. And, you know, Nengi would always compare the both of you. And she would always say she preferred him to you. I think she wishes I had married him and not you. This Melvin guy, did you have anything to do with him? Mm -mm -mm. No, 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 I didn't. I would never do such a thing. Thank you. Listen, right? We are here now. Let's just give her time. She'll get back to loving you the way she did before we left. Okay. So, we are the only ones in the house. Yes, we are. And your baby needs sugar. Mm. I missed you. <laughs>
to go inside now and drop this and we will be fine okay thank you baby it's very i'm happy oh. thank god for keeping you alive eh? mm. you're welcome <sighs> babe you don't know how happy i am to have you back home yes you're so happy <laughs> don't i babe what's going on you've been giving me the cold shoulders ever since you woke up from the coma yesterday. Is everything okay? I want the both of you out from this house. What's going on, babe? Ah, please. Just stop it with that babe. Stop it, please. Why are you pretending? Oh, you think I don't know? Ah, Moby, you think I don't know that you brought in your mistress into my own house? And you claim she's your cousin. <laughs> wow. Ah, Moby, please. I need you to tell me one thing that I've done to deserve this. You had nothing, but I cared less. I gave you everything that I had. Everything that I still have, you've, you're with it. So why would you think of paying me back like this? Please answer me. Why? I just want the both of you out from my house. I'm sorry. Sorry? 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 <laughs> Amobi, you must be a clown. Please, take your mistress and leave my house. You didn't let me finish. I was about to say I'm sorry, but no one is leaving this house. Excuse you? In case you haven't noticed, let me put it to you. Clearly. You're crippled now. That means you are at my mercy. I make the rules around here henceforth. And I'm telling you that Maggie and I are going nowhere. You get it? <laughs> babe? Yes, baby. Lock the entrances and get the keys. I'm gonna be what? Get the keys. What are you doing? What's what's going on? Why do you say she should? From now on, Vera, no one leaves this house without my permission. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Come back, please. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Wonders shall never cease. Wonders shall never end. Go back to sender. Go be back to sender. Back to sender too. The man of the house. So it's not even up to ten minutes. Ten minutes. We came back from the hospital, and you're already with your cheap side hand. Very cheap. How dare you? How dare you? Babe. It's, Are you not? It's too early for this. Ah! Look at me. Oh, God, have mercy. Oh, I see. I see what you are trying to do. You want to hit me. No, come and beat me. Come and beat me. Let me see if your head will not roll on the ground. If I will not bury you here. Now, 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 on this house. Babe. Babe. <laughs> are you seeing that? Don't point at me. Bring your Calm hands down. down. Calm down. <laughs> it's a good day. Don't let her ruin it, okay? It's a good day, Kate. Come, let's go. Let's go. Please shift. You open the door. Why did you close it? Oh, God. My mom is back, right? My mom is back. And very, very soon she will find out all you have been doing in this house. And guess what? Both of you are leaving this house today. Don't worry. Come here. Okay. Why are you crying? I'm sorry, my child. Sorry. Sorry for what? You shouldn't be sorry about anything. What happened? 
I'm sorry for not believing you when you told me about Amobi and Maggie. Oh, so you know now. That's great. Mom, you see those two people? If you see what they have been doing since, since you were in coma, I literally wanted to stab them. Like, seriously. But Mom, you shouldn't be crying. You should tell them to leave this house now that you know. I already did. You already did? So why are they still in there? Why are they not going? Like, sh do, should I help them? Should I help them throw their bags out? No, 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 no. They refuse to go. And... Then... What? Why would they refuse to go? Is something wrong with them? Then you, you won't understand. There is nothing to understand, Mom. Those two people are supposed to leave this house immediately you give them the order. What? You know, the only reason why I, I've been keeping quiet is because you have not said the word. But now you want them out of this house, I'm going to do it plainly. Mom, don't worry. It's fine. I have this under control. You want them to leave this house, right? Nangi. Nangi. Nangi, please be careful. Hey. Hey, honey. To us. To us. <laughs> wow. I can see. Celebrating with my mom's expensive drink. How shameless can you be? I mean, for people that they ask to leave this house, you're supposed to pack your stuff at... Oh, you know, I totally forgot that you don't have anything. You came to this house with nothing. So what you do now is just carry yourself like this and go, as he has said. And I'm sure it's the same case with you, Mrs. Maji. Nengi, as you can see, we were in the middle of something before you interrupted. In the middle of something? Just look at how mannerless she is. She can't even knock. Hey, Very manners. Nengi, you're so bad. Okay, you that is built with manners. Look at manna all over your body. Bad manners. Carry it to your mother's house and not to another woman's house. You side hen. I'm Obi. No, no, no. No, don't call her Mobi. Call my name. Enough, enough of no, that, no, Nengi. No, don't tell me enough. Let me, let me finish. Call my name. Why do you have to involve him? Get out of here. What's wrong? What's wrong with you? First of all, I'm Obi or whatever you call me. Did you just call me Amobi? Yeah, that was the name that your mom gave you on the day of your birth. Did you lose your memory for a second? Well, the only reason why I respected you, respected past tense, is because I saw you as a, a responsible person who deserved my respect. But now that I see you as a dog, yes, I will take... How dare you? How dare you call me a dog? Don't you ever raise your hands on me. In, you, in this life, in the next life, oh, you're looking at me, you think I'm scared of you. I am not scared of you. One bet. If you ever lay your hands on me again, ever! Take her away! You think you're the only one that has mouths in this house? That's very good. What are you two doing to her? I'm asking you, Maggie, what are you doing to my daughter? Teaching her a lesson. Something you obviously failed to do. Maggie, you know you two should leave my daughter out of this. Too late. Too late? Mm -hmm. Listen to me and listen good. Nothing should happen to my daughter or else I... I, I... Uh, you what? No, you will what? It's obvious you haven't realized that you're crippled. And you can do nothing. 
there is absolutely nothing you can do. So stop with all this, your stupid and pointless threats. Because you can do nothing. You're crippled. <laughs> I can't stay here anymore. It's not conducive for you. Maggie, come, come back here, man. Ah! <laughs> Maggie, don't hurt my daughter, please. I'm just begging you, leave her alone, please. Please, can I at least see my daughter? Don't worry about her. She's safe where she is. Amobi, please. I just, I just want to see my daughter. You know, that daughter of yours is very rude and obnoxious. And I'm done with her insolence. She's better off where she is. I'm not letting her out. That girl sees you as her father. Why are you doing this to her? Well, I'm not her father, am I? Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Can I at least have my phone? Your phone? Do I have stupid written on my forehead? Amobi, please. I never said you're stupid. I'm only asking for my phone. So you can call for help, right? Help? No. I don't need help. I'm not calling for any help. Oh, please stop with the pretense. We both know the reason you want your phone is so you can call for help. And I'm not giving you the phone. Are you being serious? So now I'm a prisoner in my own house. As for being a prisoner in your house, you can see it however you want. I don't care. Good night. Um, Obi, are you going to leave me here? Are you leaving me here? <laughs> you don't very well think that I'm going to babysit you, do you? If you're not comfortable where you are, take yourself to wherever you're comfortable. But I can't move. That's none of my business. Um, Obi. Um, Obi, please, just let me see my daughter, please. Amobi, please! Good morning, Amobi. I've not eaten since we got back from the hospital yesterday. And I know that's the same with my daughter. So? Please, give us something to eat. Please. Ask what? Hanani? Amobi, please. I'm not asking you to release her anymore. I'm only asking that you give her food to eat. Forget about me. Just give her food. Please. Uh, I've heard you. Thank you. Babe, are you seriously telling me to go and serve those people?
Babe, we can't starve them to death. Really? Do I look like I care? We're not murderers, okay? We have to feed them. Honey, are you... Don't tell me you're beginning to care for those people. Of course not. Then why do you care if they eat or not? We need to feed them, okay? Please. Please, baby. Fine. I'm only doing this because of you. Just you. Thank you. What should I get for you? On my way back. Get for me. <laughs> you know what I like. Of course I do. Mm -hmm. I'll get you 10 shawamas. I hope you eat them. 10? Yeah. Why don't we get 20? <laughs> <laughs> of course you know I will. Okay. Mm. See you when Have I get back. Have a great day, honey. Bye. Bye. And feed them. <laughs> Go to work, please. Yes? <laughs> Is this what you brought for me to eat? <laughs> you should be happy I brought something for you. Okay, please, wait, wait, wait. Don't be in a hurry. Add this to my daughter's share. And give it to her, okay? As what? No, as what? Your maid? Oh my God, listen to me. Listen to me! The very next time I bring food to you and you say anything other than thank you, I will make sure I trash this food and you will have nothing to eat that day and the next day. Nonsense. Where is that mannerless dog? Yeah, cray. Who beat you? Take. Be fast. Answer me now, take. food and this girl pushed me, locked me in and ran out. What? I'm coming right away. Please honey, be fast. Be fast. <sighs> I will so deal with this girl. I will so deal with her. Oh, she thinks she can go like that. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Mommy, Nadia, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine, but we need to leave this house now. Leave okay. how? He locked the doors and he left with the keys. Oh, um, uh, wait, the kitchen, the back door. Easy, easy. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, it's locked too. It's locked. Okay, uh, uh, he left, he, he's with my phone. What about your phone? Yes, I dropped it in my room, I'm coming. Please. Like, where could it be? Wait, wait, wait. 
no, 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 no. What? Wait, did they? Did they? Did they keep me Looking for this? My phone! Give it to me! You're a big bag of trouble, you know. And you're a devil! If I were you, I'd mind how I talk. So I don't put my mother into even more trouble. What do you mean by more trouble? What have you done to my mom? Mommy! Mom! I tried to warn you, but he came in too fast. I, I, I thought something happened to you. I thought he hurt you because of me. No, he didn't. I'm fine. I'm fine, okay? If you dare help my mom, I will come for you. The next time you speak to me in that manner, I will show you exactly what I'm capable of. You won't do anything. Nengi. You won't do nothing. Nengi. I'm be you talk to your daughter. If she keeps challenging me like this, I'm going to have to do something about you it. You will not do anything. I won't keep quiet about it. Oh, please. You cannot do anything. Thank you. Thank you, please. I just feel like strangling him. I just wish I could kill him. I am sorry. I am sorry for not believing you. Mom, it's not your fault at all. It is. It is my fault. Because if I did, we wouldn't be here locked up in our own house like prisoners. Sorry. Why me? But you see, we're going to get out of here very soon. I won't rest until we get out of this mess. As for the both of them... Where is that girl? Where is that stupid girl? Calm down. I'm going to make sure she'll stay in here for one week without food. Babe, just calm down. You can't tell me to calm down in this situation. This girl pushed me and, and, and locked me in here. Sorry about that. Look, sorry is not going to cut anything. I want her to be locked in here for one week without food. Will you just listen to me? I don't have a problem locking her up here again. But I think I have a better idea. You've been complaining about having to do the chores around the house yourself. Mm -hmm. So, why don't we make Nengi do it? Yes, as a punishment. Mm. Make her do the chores around the house. That's a better idea. Yeah. She has to do all the chores in this house. Exactly. Trust me, she's lazy. Doing chores is going to be worse for her. I will so do with her. How dare she lock me up? You, you, right? Oh, oh calm leave, down. leave me alone. Calm down. Let me do with her. We just had an agreement. Calm down. Let me handle this. Dad, I wanted to talk to you. About what? The doctor talked about my mother's wheelchair, and you promised you'd get it. Wait. You've not said anything about it since we got back from the hospital. So? So, I need you to buy it. It's necessary. My mom needs to move around. She needs to have a bath and, and change her clothes. There's no money. What do you mean there's no money? I just told you there's no money. The company is not making any money right now. So there's no money. How do you mean the company is not making any... Wait, but I need this wheelchair now. I need it e immediately. Okay, so... It's urgent. Yes, it's urgent. Okay, fine. I'm willing to give you money, personal money, to buy the wheelchair. But you have to earn it. What do I have to do? You start doing the chores around the house. All the chores. Me. And you start behaving better. Do, do the chores that... Look. Why would I do the chores when my mom has more than enough money to pay for a wheelchair? It's your choice to make. What? Look, I, I, I know 
that my mom has money somewhere. It's not even about the church. Just give me some from her money. It's urgent. You keep it. Did you get to tell him about the wheelchair? He said there's no money. I told you. I told you telling him was a bad idea. But I can't believe... I can't believe we're begging for our own money. Your money. Oh, you need to change your clothes. You need to have your bath. You need to move around. I don't... Don't worry, I'm fine here. I'm okay here. You know what? I have an idea. Good idea. Come, let me away. Get in where? Come, let me carry you. Yeah. <laughs> Come. Yeah. What are you doing? Just ignore her, okay? Don't, don't mind her. She doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you making noise? Why are you making noise? Get Okay, just, just go. Thank you. Wait, you're in the whole place. Yeah. So you want to carry her and break your back? Hey, carry her now. Carry her so that your back will break. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, let's go. Come on, just come. Give me a hand. So, Mom, how are you feeling? Good. Yeah. So, uh... Sorry. No, it's fine, it's fine. Just sweating a little. I'm just going to go have my bath now, then run to the kitchen, prepare something for us to eat. How about that? Good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Nengi. I'm really, really glad that you're my daughter. I don't know what I would have done without you. I'm happy too. You know, the thing is, we got each other's back, and that's all that matters. Yes. Okay. I'll see you. I know you might be hungry, so. See you in a bit. You said you needed money for hair. There's no need to thank me. This is little compared to what I have in store for you. I know. I am going to give you the best life ever. <laughs> With whose money? My mom's money. Come. Have they not taught you not to put your mouth in other people's conversation? Especially when people talking are your elders. Side hand, I was not talking to you. Mind your business. And you, when I asked you for my mom's wheelchair, I asked you for money to buy my mom's wheelchair. What did you say? That you had no money. There was no money. My own mom's money. And now you're sending her a whooping 500,000 naira for her. Is that no wickedness and heartlessness? Nengi. Get out of my face Why right now. Why would I now. get out of your face? Get out of my face before I descend on you. <laughs> descend on me. This is my mother's house. You don't tell me where to go, what to do, how to... Nengi, get out of my face. Leave this place now. Leave here! Leave me alone! Just leave me! Babe, why can't you just deal with this girl? Eh? How will you allow this, this riffraff to be talking to you anyhow? You need to teach her, you need to put her in her place. Look, babe, she's just a child, okay? And so, she's just a child and then she's talking like this. I know why I'm calm or I know why I am calm. It's because of you. If not, I know what I would have done to her. Babe, focus on the big picture. I'm 
Boy, someone's mood. Big picture. Hmm? He's getting frustrated. permission to cook in the kitchen <laughs> hmm? hey. did i give you permission to cook in the kitchen as what as what exactly my own my mother's kitchen in it's fact it is my kitchen oh, do anything i'll use this drone oh, yes, what is going on hey, 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 hey shut what's going on it is this side here and what are you calling it is you you're a side and cheap one or that side can someone tell me exactly i will so disagree and i'll swing this Touch me. Look at how you left me out there. I, I thought you had left already. Did you see me leave? Did you see me? I'm sorry, baby. J just leave me alone. So if someone were to harm us, that's how you're going to leave me out there? Of course not. Why would I? But you just did. And it was even a child. Maybe she had a pot of hot water. And so? Did you promise to protect me from all harms? How do you intend to do that when you can't even protect me from a child and a hot water? How do you intend to do that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. Just don't touch me. Baby, please, now. Don't touch me. You don't even love me. You love your life more than the way you love me. Come on, don't say that. I thought you had left, babe. Are you really serious? All that happened? I'm telling you. No wonder you took such a long time. Yes, because I had to make another food. I'm so sorry, my baby. Oh, it's fine. You don't need to be sorry. As a matter of fact, I am happy. I am very happy because it would have pained me if I didn't show this aunt the stuff I'm made of. Yes, it would have pained me so much. Hmm. What did you just say? No, what did you say? You showed her the stuff you're made of. What stuff are you made of? Wait, but do you expect me to just stand here and watch her after throwing the food that I, I made? Yes. Yes. You say this person you are. I did not train you to be this person. I did not. Mom, look, even the Bible said that when you go to Rome, you act like uh, the Romans. We are in the midst of animals, like dogs and hens, so we need to act like them so that they can be able to understand us. Mm. You're being serious right I'm now. I'm serious. You're not supposed to at all. Mm. I did not train you to be this person. So she Nengi. Nengi. Are you not the one I'm talking to? Uh, Mom, um, do you think this food is too small? Do you want to eat more? Or do you want another meat? I even... Meet me in the living room. Now. And don't keep me waiting. It's fine. Nengi, she was talking to you. She was talking to me. Didn't you see the way she just burst into this room? With, with no atom of respect. In your own house. Are you being serious right I'm now? I'm serious. Listen to she... me. Why would she what? Because why would she even enter this room hey, like please, this? Please, please, just shush it. Listen to me, Nengi. What's wrong with you? We are their mercy. If they decide to mess us up here, nobody's going to do anything about it. You being this stubborn won't help. It will worsen the case. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I am not going anywhere. I will stay here. She will come back and meet me and tell me that thing here. And then you listen to me, please. I can't help you. I'm crippled. Just handle this with wisdom. Mom, you're not crippled. You're not. I believe you will walk again one day. Please. Nengi, please. Just go to the living room and hear her out. Please. Okay, fine. I'll go. But the only reason I'm going there is because of you. You, let me hear what the siding has to say.
Is Auntie Maggie to you? Yes, Auntie Maggie. Well, I'll call you whatever I choose to call you. What do you want? Look around you. Mm -hmm. Can't you see that everywhere is dirty? So, what are you trying to say? So, I need you to get a bucket and a mop and clean this place. <laughs> That's funny. Don't you even move an inch. Oh, you think this is like before in the kitchen? Huh? Well, let me tell you something. You're not leaving this place until you mop it. What's that your name again? Maggie? Or oh, no. Or oh, Royco. Whatever you call yourself. Don't you ever in your life try to call me out. To do what? To clean the house for you? Don't do it. If you try it again, you regret ever knowing me. Wait, come here. Am I the one you're opening your eyes for? Am I the one you're doing that to? Do I look like your stupid mother to you? Don't you dare call my mom stupid. Don't! Don't you dare in your life! Your mother is stupid. Very stupid. Do your worst. Do your worst! Ah! Why, why was Maggie screaming? Just ignore her, okay? Nothing, nothing happened. So... Maggie, what did you do? I didn't do anything. Do I look like someone that did something? Hmm? I, I didn't... Okay. She called you stupid, so I poured the juice on her. You did what? Why would you do that? You can't just stand here and watch her insult you. Call you names. Yes! I'm expecting you not to do anything. That's what you're supposed to do. Do nothing. Hmm. Are you not getting it? Are you not listening? What's wrong with you? See, if these people decide to kill us here, nobody's going to know about it. So you just keep your cool. That's the best way we can just avoid them. What is it? What are you saying? What are you saying? So you mean I should sit and watch them treat us anyhow and take everything that they bring to us? Yes! Nangi! Yes! Take everything in. No, mom. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to let strangers treat us however they want. If they want to kill me, let them come. But one thing I'm sure of is that I'm going to take one of them with me. Where is she? Where's that stupid girl? What the hell do you think you just did? How dare you? What has... Stay out of this, you lame thing. Don't you ever call my mom names. Don't you dare. Oh. So, I'm here to correct you for the rubbish you did, and you're still talking about- I am saying it over and over again, don't call my mom names! Yeah, I hope you please. You know she's just a child, she's acting her age. She's just a child. This is what you do. You always make excuses for her. That's why she has grown up to be such a rude and ill-mannered girl. <laughs> oh wow! If your mom had trained you better, you wouldn't be here biting the fingers that fed you. What did you just say to me? I said it and I will say it again. What do you want to do? What did you just say to me? I dare you. I don't be dare you. Oh, really? Yes, I dare you. Okay. Okay. Please don't mind her, please. I'm not going to hit her. Uh-huh. What are you going to do? I'm not going to hit you. What are you going to do? I am going to deal with your mother. No, I'm Because obviously, that's going to hurt you more. All right? So watch your mom suffer because of you. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Please, 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 don't hurt me. Nengi. Uh, Mama, you said she was sleeping. Where are you going to? I'm going to find a way to get help. We can't just sit here and do nothing. There must be something we can do. Nengi, there is nothing we can do. There is nothing we can do. They locked us in here. All the doors are locked. And I'm very certain the gate is locked as well. They won't be stupid to leave the keys lying around. I could just go, go in search of the keys and I'll find them. Are you being serious, Nengi? Are you listening to yourself? What if they catch you? Well, we we'll hope they don't catch me. But let me just go and try. You hope they don't catch you? But what if they do? 
What if they do? Have you ever thought about what will happen? What Amobi will do to you? Eh? You saw what happened today all because you disrespected Maggie. What if Amobi catches you? He Have won't. You... He will. I'll he be might. Be very careful. I'll be very careful. He won't even know that I, 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 I'm looking for the key. I promise. <sighs> Thank you. Please. Please. You're not supposed to be doing this, so you're not. Eh? You promise to listen to me always. This is the time I want you to listen to me. Please. Please, Nengi, please. Fine, fine. All right. Um, I understand how you feel. Eh? But please, the best thing to do right now is we just need to pretend. Pretend to them that we're okay with what's going on. I'm not okay with what's going on. I know. I know you're not okay. Please, I know. But you need to stop disrespecting Maggie. Mom, I cannot respect animals. It's not possible. Me, me, me. Respect me. Listen to me, please. Let's just, you know... Respect them, do what they want. Just make them feel that you're okay so that they will lose their grip on us. Okay, I'm I not... know, Maggie, please. When you do these things, they will lose their grip and we'll plan our escape very well. Okay. Please. I'll, I'll try, okay. It's not you will try, you will do it. Thank you. Um, Auntie Maggie, I was watching that. Auntie Maggie, did you just call me Auntie Maggie? Wow. I had no idea you could actually call me Auntie Maggie. Please, why did you turn off the TV? It's 8 o'clock in the morning. Don't you think you should be doing something rather than sit here and watch TV? I want you to clean this house. Sweep everywhere and mop it. Make it sparkling clean. Then, maybe, just maybe, I'll let you watch TV. Okay? Okay, Mom. Whatever you did to Nengi is really working. Is it? <laughs> she called me Auntie Maggie today. She did? I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, I did tell you I was going to break her, didn't I? You did. <laughs> You're a man of your words. I sure am. Mm -hmm. Why don't you give me some sugar then? Mmm. 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 Thank you. Yes, Mom. What are you doing? No, I'm just sweeping. I want to clean the house. And you decided to start here first? Yes. But I will still clean other places like the kitchen and the rest. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. My friend, go and clean our room. Uh, see, see, the thing is, uh, in my school, they taught me that whenever I want to clean, whenever I want to clean the whole house, I should start from the living room. It's the most important part because visitors will be coming there. Nengi! Start elsewhere. We are not expecting any visitors. Simply, you can do. I, I'm not seeing you people. You know what, babe, Nengi! Babe, just let her clean here. Let's go to our room. We'll be more comfortable there. Hmm? I'll be done very soon, self. Tell me, it's just cleaning. I'm sorry.
Honey, you're right. This place is a lot better. Mm -hmm, I told you. <laughs> and now that we're here, I'm having some ideas. Oh, <laughs> you know you're very nutty, yeah, right? I know. <laughs> Dengi, what are you doing here again? Me? Yes. No, ignore me. Oh. Ah, now when I came to the living room and I told you, told me stuff. Um, Daddy, didn't you hear her? Tell, see the truth. Dengi, yes, Auntie. Get out. Okay. Leave. I'll get out. It's just that this place is dusty and you. I said get out. Leave now. Can you imagine this girl? What is her problem? Gosh. Nonsense is that. Let's get she back just to wants to spoil, okay. spoil my mood. It's okay. Wipe by ourselves now, okay? Yes. So you were saying something just now. Um, sorry, yo. I just came to ask a question. Should I start making the lunch now? Are you or stupid? stupid? No. What sort of stupid question is that? No, it's just to know if you're hungry. Why did you start? start making lunch? Just go and make the lunch. Okay, you're hungry. Rice, mm. right? Whatever. Just go make the lunch. Leave here. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thank you. Leave here now. This girl is really pissing me off. She's pissing me off. Babe, what are you doing? I'm not, I'm, look, I'm, I'm, I'm no longer in the mood. Just, just, just leave me alone. Ah, oh, come on. Don't say that. I said I am not I in can the put mood. you back in the mood. Oh, I told Sorry. 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 Are you crazy? Can you imagine what what is wrong with her? Eh? What kind of a demon is that? Let me see you here. Let me see you here. Come back. I have your time today. Um, sorry, you gave me your slippers. Oh. Okay. wrong? What's happened? Nothing. Fine. You, you haven't even touched the food that I kept here. What is it? Mom, you're crying and you're telling me you're fine. You're obviously not fine. Talk to me. What happened? I just... You just... I just wish I believed you. Mom, come on. We're done with this talk. Do you want us to settle over again? Do don't, don't do this, please. I wish I believed you, you know. We wouldn't have been in this mess. I would not have lost my legs and not us being locked up in our own house like common criminals. You haven't lost your legs. The doctor said you walk again and I believe him. You will walk again. As for this house, we will leave this house very soon and those two animals will pay for what they've been doing. Just. Don't worry about everything, okay? Mommy, don't do this. Don't. You haven't even eaten this food and can't. Okay. Mommy, don't you to eat. I remember the doctor recommended a physiotherapist for mom. He said she really needs it. So I, I came to ask if you could please contact one and pay for one. Dad, did you hear me? I heard you. Look, she really needs the physiotherapist immediately. So I, 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 I saw the doctor giving you his number. If you just call the number that he gave you, try it. Nengi, the company is suffering losses right now. When sales improve, we'll talk about this again. 
What? Can you leave this place? You're disturbing me. I don't understand. Why is it every time I'll be begging for money? Why? My own mother's money. This is my mother's money we're talking about. My mother's money. If you raise your voice at me one more time, your mother will suffer for it. <laughs> Hey, baby. Hey, sweetie. Mm. So tell me, how do I look? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Eh? <laughs> Thank you, honey. Babe, I saw the 400,000 naira you transferred to me. Oh, baby, you spoil me too much. If I don't spoil you, who will I spoil? No one. <laughs> so, baby, I'm off. Okay, have fun. You know I will. Come here. Mm -hmm. Right, Don't stay out too late, okay? Nah. Mm, my baby. <laughs> so, you gave her 400,000 there for nothing. We have been begging you to call the physiotherapist that wouldn't even cost up to that. And you, you tell me that my mother's company is running a loss. Mengi, get out of my face now. You're a devil. Mengi, get out of my face. Now! What do I care about you, mom? How long would this go on? How long do I have to sit and watch strangers take over everything that belongs to us and keep us as prisoners in our own house? No. I'm not going to let that happen anymore. I have to get a hold of my phone and I'll call for help. I'll do something very drastic. Nengi, give me the phone. Right now. Just turn and leave. Leave me alone. I'll do something you won't like. Maggie, you. Won't you? Won't you? Ah! Won't you leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'll, I'll break. Listen to me. The next time you threaten me again, I'm going to break your legs and cripple you like your mother. You hear me? You stop that nonsense. I am no longer comfortable in this house. I am no longer comfortable. You calm down, babe. Look, we just need to be more careful. Okay, like make sure that we lock all the doors, secure everywhere properly before we sleep. How long are we going to be careful? No, tell me how long. What if she has succeeded in calling whoever she wanted to call today? No, but she didn't and that's what's important right now. Look, honey, I am tired. I'm sick and tired of living like this. I can't continue living this way. Maggie. I can't continue looking over our shoulders all the time. Honey, look. Why don't we sell the company, this house, and move to another country where they can't find us? Please. You know, that's actually not a bad idea. Exactly. Hmm? I'll get started on that immediately. That's Are what you we'll sure? Do. Yeah. Thank you. Everything will be okay. We'll be fine. All right? I'm just tired. Come here. Mm. I love you. 
Ah, mommy. How are you? What is wrong with you? Me? Oh, nothing's wrong with me. What's wrong with you here? Oh, uh, okay, you see, what's wrong with you? What happened to Mom, you? Oh, absolutely nothing. Okay, see, um, I think I slept badly, so my hand is just giving me a little pain, but it's all right, it's okay. Nengi. Mom. It's high time you start sleeping in your own room. No, I don't want to leave you all by yourself. I mean, if I do, who's going to be helping you to the rest of the room every night? Come on. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Mm. You see, you just hurts. your heart. Okay, I am going to take care of myself. I don't need you discomforting yourself for me, okay? No, Mom, this is not about you, actually. This hand, the pain is not about you. It's about who, though? Who's there? Nengi, leave us. So I was saying it has nothing to do with you. It's just... Nengi? <sighs> leave us now. What do you want from me? Uh, Nengi, please. Just, just leave mom, us. Mom, mom, if there's anything he wants to say to you, he should be able to talk to me too. So let him say we're family, right? It seems like you want me to break your other hand. Excuse the me. The other one. Oh, oh, Nengi, what is he talking about? Absolutely nothing. He's just trying to play smart. Just don't, don't mind him. Oh, she didn't tell you. Nengi. There's nothing going on. There's oh. nothing. You want me to show your mom exactly what happened right here and right now? And while I'm at it, I might decide to break another bone in her leg, in her crippled leg. She's not crippled. My mom is not crippled. Don't call her crippled again. Nengi. Nengi. Listen to me, please. Please just leave, okay? Just... A little time. Mom, if there's anything here, yeah, I'm begging you. Nengi, please. leave this place right now. Dr. Bobby, she's leaving. Nengi, please. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Yes? I need you to sign this. You're selling the company. Just sign the documents. What? For 150 million? Are you being serious right now? This company is worth over 200 million naira. It's no business of mine. Sign the documents. This has been your plan all along. This is you. Like, it's you in my dreams. You were the one who took everything that I've ever worked for. Everything that I've labored for. Amobi, why? What did I ever do to you? What? Tell me, no, tell me. I've loved you. I respect you. Like, this company is mine, but I gave it to you. You handled everything. I did not even ask for anything in return. So why would you pay me back like this? Can you just stop talking already and sign the bloody documents? Don't sign it. Mom, don't sign that document. I'm not going to do anything. I thought I told you to leave this place. What are you doing back here? Um, Mom, um, don't sign the documents. Don't sign the documents. Oh, you think I'm joking? Oh, no, no, please, please, don't do that. You think I'm joking? Yeah? You think I'm joking? I'm going to break this hand no, if you don't sign that document. Oh, my hand! Please, don't sign this. Please, 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 please,
I'm not saying no, don't take that. No, don't take that. Please, just, just keep Don't take that. Nengi. Why? Nengi, I'm sorry. Why? Nengi, please. Mommy, she just have said don't say that. Nengi, just shut up, please, please. It's okay. It's okay, Nengi. It's you that I'm thinking about. Nengi, help me, help you now, please. I'm sorry. Nengi, don't do this, please. Nengi, I can't carry you. Nengi, call me. I'm going to conclude with the agent mm -hmm. concerning this house um, so that he can sell the house whenever he has a buyer. Okay. All right. Just make sure you pack our things. You know we're leaving tomorrow. Yes. Um, All right. Honey, just that I would need to go to the market to get a few things. You know, just a few clothes and bags. So okay. I'll be needing the spare key in order to leave this place. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Okay, yeah, sure, you can have this one. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you're careful with it. Of course I will. Alright. See you. Bye. Oh, oh my god, um, 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 I'm so Is sorry. something wrong with you? Forgive me. Sorry for your silly self. This house. I have the keys to the door and the gates. So let's go. Go, man. Okay. Hold on. Where did you get that from? Look, I got it from Auntie Marty. That doesn't matter. In fact, he doesn't even know that I have the keys. So we need to get out of here before he finds out, okay? Um, okay. Thank you. Come on, mom. Go, man. Let's just go. How? How? Let's just go. We can just. I have the key. We can just unlock the gate and go. How do I leave? I will carry you. I will carry you. I will carry you. I already have that sorted out. Thank you. Thank you. Please. You have to leave alone, okay? No! Mom, why would I leave you here when I have the keys? Keys, mom! Lengi, you cannot Ow. carry. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry it's I'm sorry. fine. But you can't carry me, okay? I can. I did it before. It's not going to be hard. Just come okay, in. Lengi, we need to hold leave this on. place before that man I comes will, back. I will only slow you down. So please just go. Get help oh, and come back want, for me. You won't slow me down. Thank you. I'm the one talking to you. I will. Please listen to me. It would have been much easier. I have the keys now. That's the reason you need to leave alone and go get help, okay? Be careful. When I come, I'll back. come back for you. I will do everything possible. I will get help and I will come back here to take you, okay? Be careful. Yeah. Just go now. Don't go anywhere. Just stay here. get this? Nengi. Nengi. It's a good thing the agent I was going to see said we should reschedule for the evening. 
I came back and saw Nengi at the gate. She was almost leaving. Oh my God. I mean, how did this happen? Look, honey, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, I don't know how it happened. I know, I know, it's okay. Look, it's a good thing we're leaving tomorrow. Because you're right, there's no way we'll be able to secure this premises all the time. Mm -hmm. All right? Have you packed our things yet? Not yet, honey. Let's get to it right away. Okay, I'll help you. Right Let's away. just park. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, God, God. It's night already and Nengi's not back yet. God, please. I hope nothing has happened to my child. I just hope. What if something has happened to my daughter? I shouldn't have let her go. I shouldn't have. God, please, please. There you are. I'm sure by now you already figured out that you and your daughter's plans didn't work. Where is my daughter, Amobi? I didn't come here to talk about that insolent fool. I came here to inform you that Maggie and I will be leaving tomorrow. So I came to bid you farewell. Where is my daughter, Amobi? What have you done with my daughter? What have you done to her? Aren't you even curious to know what I have in store for you? Can you please give me back my daughter? Can you please? Well, obviously you aren't. I'll tell you anyways. I'm going to lock up this house. Shut it down tight. Lock up the gates and give the key to the agents. Now, you best pray that the agent comes to check on you in this house before you run out of food and before you and your daughter starve to death. What have you done to my daughter? What have you done to my daughter? Give me back my daughter, Moby, please. I'm begging you. Where is she? <laughs> Amobi, please. Just my daughter, please. It's been a good run with you, Vera. You're a good woman. Sadly, my heart belongs to another. So, I wish you well. Or maybe I don't. Come on, me, please. I don't really care. Sincerely, God will punish you. I'm up here, I regret the day I met you. I'm up here, I'm just asking for my daughter. Please give me back Nengi, please. I'm up here, please, I'm begging you. I'm up here, God is watching you. God is watching you. Just my daughter, I don't need anything else from you. Melvin, I'm not sure we've met. Yes, what do you want? And how did you get into this compound? We broke the key. Who is we? Officers. Ah. These are the criminals. Mr. Amubiona, you're under arrest. You are coming with us to the station. Oh, under hey, arrest. hey, you! Come back in! Oh. Effect, come out! What's going on here? No, and never allow me this also. Let's go. I said the two of you should move. What's going on? Okay, we've got to move. Never allow me use for You just move it. I said move. What is this about? Let's go.
Nengi. Nengi. Nengi, please. Get here. I, I thought you were abroad. I got your call. You did? How do you know you picked? I did. I overheard your conversations with him. When I noticed he took the phone from you, I ended the call. Thank God I was around for some businesses. Thank you so much, Uncle Melvin. Please, where is my mom? She's safe. And what's about Amo being inside him? They have been arrested. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Uncle Melvin. I appreciate it. You're safe now. Thank mm? you. You're safe. Please, can I see my mom? Mm-hmm. I know you like what they did there. Oh, I just want to say Jesse. Hello. Uncle Melvin. <laughs> How is my favorite people doing? Very fine, sir. How are you? Very fine. Um, Uncle Melvin, guess what? What? Just guess! Okay. Mommy! Okay. Uh, I have any help. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. You can walk? Yeah, just I'm limping though. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm very happy for you. Please. Thank you. It's nothing. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for getting me the best physiotherapist in the country. Thank you so much, Melvin. It's okay. Don't mention it. I am happy to help. Yeah. Yeah. Can you just kiss already? Uh, what? It's obvious you like each other. Oh, wait, because I'm here. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll leave. Come on, do it. <sighs> what is my child? <laughs> yeah. She's the best. Yeah. Okay, okay you, you sit now. Thank you. Okay. Easy. Yeah. Right. Uh. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Um, if she hadn't given me your house address on one of the days we were catching up, it would have been a hassle finding your place. Right. You know, I count her as one of my blessings. And these days, when I actually count my blessings, I count you, Melvin. I include you. So thank you. It's okay. You're welcome. Okay. 
me cried. Um, I'm sorry. <clears throat> no, Marvin, it's, it's nothing really. It's just that, you know, with everything that has happened between I and Moby, I just want to take things slowly. I really need to. Yeah, I understand perfectly. Whenever you are ready, I'll be here. Thank you.